Hello to the rest of the world. I'm calling uh, here from Germany. And the next scientist for future dot de from the world's council the world's council of wise people weltrat uh, those are the 23 best nature scientific professors and so on of the world and here is the only place where you can get the truth in the rest of the world you get only errors and never the truth. Only nature science brings the truth. Uh, and yeah, let's say what, what happens. Europe, this means here scientific, uh, uh, yeah, show of the, of today. No? Uh, so let's ge go to the uh, English text. Sorry for the rest of the world who, uh, which doesn't speak English. We cannot speak Chinese or something else. Uh, if you cannot understand English, the best uh, scientists of the world only speak English and German. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No French and so on. Not good enough in French. Yeah, Europeans die out. The world will suffer endlessly. So Europe Europeans die out. They just don't know it, but it's sure. Maybe it's... Uh, Europe is a continent. Continent, it's, it's called. Uh, it's a... Uh, Europe is the place where the revolutions took place. And they killed all the people with big brains. French Revolution, Russian Revolution, USSR. Uh, Hitler. The Nazi Revolution, uh, social, uh, national socialism, nation, na nation, na uh, yeah, national socialism of Adolf Hitler. He killed the intelligent German Jews with a big brain, or or they they went away and went went to. Uh, went to the United States or to other states, yeah? And so Europe has two, uh, has so small brains now, maybe the smallest brains of the whole world. And because of this, their politics, the politic, uh, uh, the political decisions they make are, yeah, are fitting to small brains. They are not very intelligent. And so Europe will die. It just takes a lot of, uh, if, 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 if uh, something like the Roman imp uh, Empire, the, the Roman Empire, it took a, a some time till it vanishes, goes away, till it goes away, yeah? till it vanishes. And maybe I, I think uh, what we can say, uh, this is not very, well, we cannot give any guarantee, but maybe the United States will in future wars, will the rest of the world and will uh, we will have United States of the world in the end. Because, take a look, who was inventing the last, uh, the, the, the most important, uh, who, who, who invented the most important products and innovations 
in the last uh, years, beginning from 1939. Yeah? I think the biggest inventions, 1941, a German invented the computer. But after this, everything what was really important came from the United States. And this means there are some people with bigger brains. And this means maybe United States will be the new Roman Empire, the United States Empire of the world. Huh? But the people from the United States will not be happy because Without the reforms, the 20 reforms of the next scientist for, uh, for future.de, there is no chance. Because free market and free forms of working together without control and without uh, uh, yeah, yeah, good control produce unhappiness, produce wars, produce pain, produce diseases. Take a look, United States, maybe the biggest brains are there, uh, but the biggest, uh, biggest bodies are also there. 600 pounds, 500 pounds, 700 pounds, yeah? all suffering people addicted to, f to, to killing food, to uh, poison, poisonous foot, yeah. So the winner will not take the, the winner will take it all, but he will take all all suffering too, <laughs> and will get all suffering too. Yeah? Maybe it's good for Europe that it will die, because then it cannot suffer. Our only hope is that maybe in the United States or in the rest of the world there will be one important big brain that is able to understand the 20 reforms of the next scientists for future, how they stop the free market and free forms of working together. And I show it to you. Uh, what, what, uh, so I tell you, we are hoping for Greta Thunberg, Donald Trump, Fridays for Future, Vladimir Putin, Christian Felber gave you, you. it's a, it's a, um, some, some, um, quite interesting form of, uh, I think it's called in English, it's eco-good, eco-good, eco-good.com, I think, huh? I don't know exactly. You must Google. Uh, Markus Krall, he wants a uh, yeah, uh, revolution for more free market. <laughs> He's a uh, very big error. Huh? Sarah Wagenknecht, Bill Gates, Richard David Precht in Germany, Jeff Bezos, Extinction Rebellion, XR, Mark Zuckerberg, Hans Werner Sinn, Warren Buffett, Luisa Neubauer, she's from Fridays for Future, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who, who met Greta, Ende Gelände, Jane Fonda, Barack Obama, Bernie Sanders, Noam Chomsky, Boris Johnson, Elon Musk, Larry Fink, Kim Jong-un, Leonardo DiCaprio, Xi Jinping, China. Yeah, do you know one of those people with big influence in the world? Please speak with them. Or do you know something else, someone else with, a big, uh, with big influence in the world? Then you can rescue the world. Keeps, uh, keeps the world away from suffer endless suffering, well, endless pain, end endless horror. Yes, so 
And now I explain to you why, what is the, the central thing that the world, the world's brains are too small up to now. The brains are too small since 160 years ago, Charles Darwin, 160 years ago, Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace from Great Pit Britain made the more, most important uh, new step in science ever. This was the most important step for mankind. He found out that there is not only a law of gravitation, Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, that uh, is important for the universe, but there is another law. The law of mutation and selection variation and selection, call it whatever you want. <laughs> but this is the... And 160 years the world did not understand this law. And I show you what this law means. We take as example Corona. Uh, we go here. Well, the World's Council of Wise People here. Some pictures of for for working here. So let's uh, let's take a look here. So first, early doctor and trader. Trader, yeah, the first shop and the first doctor. He says the truth and says, oh no, viruses or other little uh, things are not impor important. Important is that you eat natural food and live natural naturally. And here the, the law of Variation and selection, mutation and selection produces one person that lives in an arrow. Uh, the, uh, the arrow is called, oh no, uh, not the wrong food, not the modern food will kill you. The viruses and all many uh, small things that you cannot see, they will kill you. Uh, they are very strong. And you must buy my medicine, my vaccines, my tests, and so on. And only th then you can survive. Yeah, this person with this error gets a lot of money because the people eat all the junk food and the, uh, the, uh, the junk food and all, all those such things and get ill, get fat and ill. And then they buy a lot of things from the doctor and he gets rich and can feed two children, three grandchildren and so on and is the forefather of all modern supermarkets of all junk food uh, restaurants and all, uh, uh, so, so, uh, all uh, pharmaceutical industries and so on. And this arrow spreads all over the world and in every university the, 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 those arrows are taught. They teach those arrows all over the world in every university and we, uh, they get all they go, all get a lot of money and the people get unhappier and sicker and fatter and unhappier more wars come and so on so free market 
and free forms of working together kill the whole world. And what they don't kill, they make makes, uh, make suffer. <laughs> or, or they bring into pain. Yeah? And so the world is full of pain. And so for Europe, maybe it's good when they will die out like the d dinosaurs. Because then they have no pain anymore. And the United States will kill the rest of the world. And the United States will become the United States of the world. But what does it, what does it mean? All will suffer. All will live in pain. All will be fat all over. All will be sick all over. Yeah, this is the future of mankind. If there is n not, if there is no single person with a big influence in the world who understands the 20 reforms of the next scientist for future. Yes, so if you Google next scientist for future, you will find this here. And you go to about us, and you have the introduction to English things, and then you have uh, texts, uh, and then here f you can click on the talks on YouTube, and then you have a playlist, and in the e at the end of this playlist you will find this number six. Uh, 594 here in this playlist you will always find in the end at the end of the playlist you will always find the newest information for the rest of the world so take a look look around talk with your friends if anyone knows uh, a person which has uh, who, who has influence in the world and then inform him about the world rescuing 20 reforms of the next scientist for future.de or the uh, yes the world council of wise people in german it's called it uh, here it's called weltrat weltrat der weisen the world council of wise people yeah this is our only strong chance to stop the pain, to stop the suffering. Yes, uh, oh, we forgot our picture here. This is our today's picture. I hope Google will get it. YouTube will get it. If not, no problem. Yes, so Europeans die out, world will su suffer endlessly. I hope you understood it. Maybe your brain is too small? No, don't mind. The brains of the whole world maybe are too small for it. 160 years unable to understand Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace and the law of mutation and select selection and what it really means for the world. This law teaches us how to make a perfect world, but we, our brains are too small. Only 23 professors of the world have big enough brains, had big enough brains to understand this. The rest of the world, maybe the brains are too small. And Europeans' uh, brains are especially small, and so Europe will die out first. No? and the rest will suffer. Yes, so, so, so this was it with the news and talks for the educated, the scientific news. Yeah, have a nice day and do something. If you don't do something, you will end in pain like everyone else. Goodbye.